first and foremost, always want to give honor and praise to the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Excuse me, y'all, because he's the Lord of my life. Shout out to YouTube. Another opportunity to share. Colossians 5, verse Colossians 4, verse 5. Be wise on how you act towards outsiders. Sorry, my tongue is kind of orange because I was having a good Doritos. Shout out to Doritos. But the point is, you know, and this is, you know, the day of the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Not actually this month, this day, but, every, you know, he died on a Friday and we believe, as, believe, as Christians, that he rose on a Sunday early in the morning as the scriptures teach. So I like to always give on on this day, you know, and unfortunately my friend passed on this day as well. Shout out to Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt forever. But we as believers have to be wise on how we act towards, act, not act, not just acting towards outsiders, but how we behave towards outsiders too. When you're working at a job, you know, you have to be mindful. You know, I know it's so easy, especially when you start at a fresh job, you get comfortable. You could become complacent. You think everything is cool. But remember, subcontractors, shout out to y'all. Those who do security, shout out to each and every one of you. You're always being watched. As well as you're watching others, you're always being watched. So be mindful. Be very mindful of how you act. Don't get comfortable. Don't get complacent. We are all expendable. Um... Some person said we all replaceable. I don't agree. Some people are not replaceable. I consider myself, you will never get another person like me working at your job. You know what I'm saying? You can replace me, put somebody else. You, you know, we all expendable, but not all of us is replaceable, even though I was told that. But regardless or not, a lot of times we lose these jobs because we be there for a year, two years. We get comfortable. We get lax. And we, oh, this person's cool. But you have to remember, this person's a manager. You know, and they have a job to do and you have the job to do, you know, when you, so when you're doing your job, don't slack in your job, you know, so um, social media is a great thing. You know, I love YouTube. I love Twitter, Internet. I love all this stuff, but we have to be mindful of what we say on these platforms. People are watching. Even if you got 10 views or whatever, people, those who took the time to watch the views and shout out to each and every one of you that, that have subscribed to my channel, those who watch the videos and to the new subscribers, shout out to each and every one of y'all. We have to be mindful when we on these platforms of what we say, how we say. We gotta be careful not to uh, get caught up with certain controversies. You know, if it ain't beneficial, to help another person become better, you know, be careful. A lot of times, especially us, is uh, I'll just say to the to the black people in that aspect is that we have to be careful. We have to be careful with uh, with our emotions. We have to be careful with how we project things because a lot of times we have good intentions, but it can become a bad outcome. You know, watching these situations transpire. You know. Um, on the internet and um all i can say in, in that regard remember you know those of you who have influence you have strong platforms you got to be careful you're you're like a role model i'm like a role model i have to be mindful you know i want to encourage each and every one of you um once again as believers be wise on how you act towards outsiders don't get lax don't get comfortable you know um do your job with the best integrity you can also, I want to say this in closing, is that um, make the most of every opportunity. Tomorrow's not promised. Live for today. Plan for tomorrow. You know, what I do, I like to get my clothes prepared today, so I'll be ready tomorrow. I try to get ready. I, I, I try to be ready. Or well, matter of fact, I get ready, so I don't have to get ready. I'm ready, so I don't have to get ready anymore. I, uh, I install that on my son and everything. You know, um, once again, those of you who, who do jobs, whether you're on a computer, whether you're standing, you know, whatever you do, make sure you go to a spa, get your foot massage, your back massage, neck, you know, every, all these things is very vital. I'm telling you, it will bless you. You know, I try to do it now every week. I get a foot massage, back massage. I'm dealing with a couple things, you know, a little arthritis on my back, you know, my, my left, my knee, my right knee. But I'm still marching. I ain't complaining. It's just that sometimes these things happen. And these things can be cured too. You just got to change your diet. You know, uh, depending on what the situation is. You just, some things you just got to, 
take the good with the bad. Keep marching, as the Holy Apostle has taught us. Keep marching, soldiers. So I just want to encourage each and every one of you have a great weekend. And let's be wise on how we act towards outsiders. Be mindful what you say. A lot of times we put a lot of stuff out there on social media. Then we have to come back and retract what we say or apologize for certain things that we said that we shouldn't have said, even though we felt it in our heart. Remember the scripture teaching, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful. Everything that you may feel is not necessarily is real, but doesn't mean that it's really wise. I try to operate in wisdom, you know. Keep, don't just keep it real. Keep it righteous. Operate in wisdom. Because the words, as, as the word talks about too, there is death and life in the power of the tongue. In America, shout out to the, you know, like I said, America is great. Great country. One of the greatest in the world. Probably the greatest. But you are going to be held accountable what you say. Don't listen to whoever came up with that slogan, sticks and stones may break your bones. Words will never hurt me. That is not true because every situation usually starts from a word. If you're in the streets, it usually starts from a stare, then a word, and then it gets physical. So my next video, I'm going to be dealing with anger. I want you guys, you know, I'm going to definitely be tackling and talking about anger how to overcome it, how to deal with it, how to become more patient, and how to avoid situations, you know, to put you in a situation to be tempted to become even more angry. So, brothers and sisters, have a great weekend. Uh, love each and every one of you. Click subscribe as always. Let's build this, let's build this platform up. Um, and once again, I want to encourage you, make the most of every opportunity as long as it's called today. Be wise on how you act towards outsiders. Be mindful what you say. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. Everything is not meant to be said on the internet. Whether on YouTube, Instagram, every, Twitter, everything is not meant to be said. You know? And sometimes keeping it real is not wise. You got to keep it. You got to operate in wisdom. Don't just keep it real. You know? Keep it really wise. Is what you say, is it, bene is it benefiting others? What's the ramifications of what you say? You know, because it, could it come back and bite you and affect you? Because if it does, then maybe you don't need to say it, no matter what the situation is. You know? Um, so, I'm a little tired. I'm on my break. I'm about to take me a nap. Just wanted to do this quick video, you know, on this, you know, Jesus trans, you know, descend Friday. He descend down to the priest of the spirits. That was lost during the days of Noah. And then he resurrected on Sunday. Chris Pratt Fridays. Shout out to Capital C's forever. Shout out to his son Elijah. Everyone have a great weekend. Jesus bless each and every one of you. Peace.